Hey guys, so today I just want to do a quick little video on the Apple Watch. This is uh, the first uh, version of it. Apple has now released a new version. Uh, so I will leave a link in the description if you want to check this one out. Uh, but be aware, this video is on the first version and Apple now has released a new Apple Watch edition with like a GPS, a dual core processor, some water system. So that's nice, I guess. Uh, so I just set this one up here with my iPhone uh, 7. So just from a normal user perspective, I wanted to show it here. So my iPhone 7 is over here. And the way you did set up the Apple Watch is uh, with the Apple Watch app. So, okay, I have I can see my, my Apple Watch over in here. And basically what you can do inside of here is first you can uh, change the different... Uh, kind of looks uh, of the um, uh, of the face of the phone so when I tap this one you can see that this one is the look right here uh, but there's a ton of different um, looks you can change uh, of course download new ones over here which uh, yeah let's say is a little bit cool uh, but let's take a look at the um, the kind of like the software over here on this one so I'm just going to turn off the display on that one and I guess I'm just gonna zoom in so you can notice when I tap on this one it goes in instantly into the watch and when I tap on it again it goes out to this page where you can see a bunch of apps and you can notice that it's a very very smooth experience when uh, when I move around here so that's nice and that you also can use this scroll wheel to move in and out to easily uh, be able to navigate this area uh, you also have another button over here, uh, which uh, is sort of like a, I don't know, you can use it sometimes, I guess. And if also if you tap instant there, it goes, uh, it like usually zooms in there. Uh, so if I just go into settings here, uh, which is one of the apps, and we go to general, you can see some of the settings here, nightstand mode, you have Siri, which is pretty interesting. Uh, let's try that out. I mean, I never tried it. Wow. What is this? Wow, that's really dumb. Like... I'm gonna try it up here. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So, what is going on with this display, man? I guess Apple doesn't want me to show this, but... I mean, I should remember that I have tried it in Coca-Cola, but... It sort of feels like it should work. Hmm. Huh. Come on, man. Add friend, no. So I guess this is like Apple quality stuff, right? You can notice I can zoom, I can go up and down with this one over here. But I gotta say, this is interesting that you can't change this one. Okay, that's Apple for you. <laughs> and I just reset this one, that's the funny thing. As you can see, it works right in here. So you can kind of see, that's some weird stuff. Huh. I mean, you can kind of see, it's, it's a little bit glitchy. And what happens if I try to go down? Hey Siri. You say hey Siri. Okay, let's try it out. Hey Siri. No, it doesn't work because I cannot change this one. Wow, that's really stupid, Apple. And I should say this might not, not actually be Apple's fault. It can be my fault as well, because it was in Coca-Cola. But it was weird because it works in this other app. That's weird. And this one works. Wow, that is so silly. Is it just because, do I have to activate Hey Siri on this one? Is it something like that? Hey Siri. It might actually be uh, that you have to activate it on your iPhone. So. If I go in here, enable Siri, allow Hey Siri, 
Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Oh my god. That is so stupid. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Oh my god. This is so stupid. Oh my god. I don't I don't okay, Siri, that is really stupid, man. Okay, let's continue this. So that was just the settings app. I mean, you do have some interesting stuff. You can change stuff. Uh, but of course, some of the more interesting apps here is things like, what is this? The watch. Let's try that one out. Or, you know, this one. So this is one of the more cooler things is that you can actually enable the watch or like the um, switch. Okay, I'm in video mode. Okay, go to photo mode. Okay, so this is one of the more epic things ever. So you can basically see that when I move around with this one, you can kind of see a live view and you can tap pictures here. So it's amazing if you want to take a selfie of yourself uh, with the uh, amazing camera on this phone. Uh, so, th I mean, that's, that's really, really good, man. Uh, that app is really really useful, but when you, when, you, when you use this rear camera over here to take a picture of yourself uh, mm -hmm. and you can see and you can take a picture just by tapping in here that is some inspector gadget stuff which I really gotta say that's extremely cool uh, of course you do have some other cool things in here like, oh wow, did I open that one again? Uh, no, I don't want to open that one uh, I wanted to open the calendar so you do have a calendar in here, which is pretty cool. I mean, it got a pretty, pretty cool uh, interface in here. And I guess if I just scroll, nothing happens. Wow, that's weird. I wonder if you should be able to change months or like, can't I change that? No events this week. If I tap on six, I don't know. Does it react? Who knows? Like I tried to tap on seven, but I don't know, man. I don't know if it works the way it should work. But um, yeah, that's calendar for you. I mean, it looks good, but it feels like it almost didn't work there, which is a little bit confusing. Um, of course you have interesting stuff here, like, uh, what is that? Oh, maps. So you can kind of see it here uh, where, oh my gosh, uh, where you can get directions, home, work, you can search for places, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I can see that you can go into your photos here. I can also see, oh yeah, you have a watch. Oh, it's an Apple watch. Yeah, that's nice. Um, you do have some iTunes things here, which is pretty cool. So you can see like now playing songs. I wonder if they have Spotify support. I am probably gonna take a look at that, but at least they have iTunes support, so you can control those things, which is a little bit interesting. Whoa, can you use this one as a remote for... I'm not sure if you can watch movies on this one. Hmm. That's a good question. Can you watch movies on this one? That is a really good question. Uh, you do have some kind of analog watch, or is is this a watch? I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what it's for, maybe for taking time or... Oh yeah, it's one of these things when you're running, like the same bolt or something, I guess. Oh yeah, nice. This is a nice timer if you're like boiling eggs or something. That can definitely be a little bit useful. And how you can change also here, you like you can have a countdown thing. Oh, and yeah, oh yeah, wow, that's nice. So you can select the hours and minutes if you want to have a countdown. So I guess that is pretty cool. Oh my god, I don't even zoom in here. Wow, that's stupid. But you can kind of see there how you can have a countdown, uh, which is uh, nice. You can cancel it, you can resume it, 
and you can also uh, change it there so that is a little bit useful uh, of course you can check out your phone stuff voicemails recents uh, which can for sure be useful mail very very cool and you can see I have uh, no mail uh, I wonder if you can add Google Google mail I don't think so maybe you can, or you probably can you probably can I'm pretty sure that you can do that what is this world clock okay cool you can have a world clock so you can see clocks at the different uh, places and here we have maybe some activity fitness goals stand up for at least a minute well that's silly hit your personal calorie goal but it's good it's good at trying to make people exercise but uh, yeah in some ways it's a little bit silly uh, workout so you have some kind of workout app as well skip outdoor walk huh that's interesting okay so you can walk around and you can see the kind of time kilometers wow that is nice that is so cool so sorry there didn't focus so you can actually see how many kilometers you have walked or how many kilometers you should go maybe hmm that is pretty interesting let's see it wants me to go okay wow you can see how many meters you're going as well that is extremely cool and total calories heart rate wow it will actually try to measure your calories I gotta say that's pretty cool uh, that is some uh, like a well-worked app I, I can see how they are like put in a lot of work in that one uh, which I do enjoy uh, you can also see some other random things in here like uh, stocks so we can see that Apple is going down Google is going up which is pretty nice maybe we should buy some maybe we should buy some Google stocks ah, they're going up ah, they are going up six months yeah they're going up in six months as well so that is quite nice we should probably buy that man and of course the messages and stuff like that you can you might also be able to download some other apps as i said i i'm curious if spotify does exist uh but yeah just a quick little video checking it out a little bit of course there are way more things you can do like you can hold in here i'm pretty sure no oh yeah you can so you can customize it instantly in here and uh let's see yeah you can quickly change it in here to a different uh, watch look which is pretty cool uh, but yeah quick video check it out uh, we'll have a link in the description if you, if you want to check it out um, but then again remember that this is not version 2 wow what is that that is that is some kind of thing <laughs> yeah but um, have an awesome day and hope to see you all in the next video peace